try it again. Hey, there we go. Second poggers. Second finally. And now we can get back to having the StarCraft theme going on in the background while I play this game. <laughs> So how are you doing, Eolist? Are you doing good? I've just been apparently talking to myself this entire time, most of it. J just to myself. I was reading everything on the screen of the lore stuff and apparently none of that came through. Oh well, we're gonna be researching a frigate next, so... Is that, is that what I didn't do, actually? Yeah, that's what I do. I'm just gonna research that up. More budget increase! Yay! I like when the budget increase. And uh, Australia wants their officer back. For... Ooh, this person has better stats across the board. Hell yeah. You're good mostly, how about me? I'm doing alright. You know, could be better if my uh, audio wasn't, you know, taking the crap that it decided to take, but yeah, you know, it's that it's what it is. Just how things are sometimes. Uh, Alright, we have a shipyard we can start production on. Well, let's pause the game. Build that shipyard in two whole days. And pause the game again, because we want to make a new ship design based on the frigate. Now the fighters are completely relegated out and completely unneeded. Uh, let's some shielded exhaust ports in the structure or thermal fence. Yeah, let's make sure they're shielded, but we're gonna need that because we need more power. Go with the fusion A. Sign for a frigate. Oop. Double click that, get that installed. That provides plenty of power for our ship. And we're at half the tonnage. Uh, let's make sure we have weapons as well. Let's see structure, armor. Upgrade armor from steel to multi layer. Drive still fusion thrusters. No shields, but weapons. You want uh, some fusion plasma blasters. And we don't need any radiators. Hey, Phil, how's it going? Uh, let's see. Pulsed ECM. That increases our ship evasion. We also want some active sensors. So we have 110% accuracy. We have scan ability. And we have some evasion ability. And let's just load up on uh, plasma blasters. I have nine of those. Uh, can I have a second entry of them? I can! But uh, no, I have only nine weapon slots. That's what it is. Well, that just means we can load up on thrusters until it exceeds power limits. Good, just chilling, about to write a new story. Nice! All right, let's max out our uh, power here. Call it a basic shooty. Basic shooty frigate. Well, no, no the, the FF basic shooty. There it is. But yeah, the FF basic shooty. Let's get one of those out. But also... We do have our defense squadrons here that I haven't messed with. Let's merge them all together. Oop. So they're led by me, Fleet Admiral Claire the Bunny. But, uh, well, the auxiliary fighters, these are all completely useless. But, uh, see, there it is. The main ships, minor ships, and screens. Oh, there's something else we could do. Uh, 
How did I decommission ships? Ah, oh, scrap ships. Oop. I'm just gonna have to uh, scrap everything. Was it just to leave? Backspace? No, I thought there was some quick way to scrap ships. Apparently not. I just had to do a lot of clicking. So I'm just gonna scrap all these useless fighters. Especially since right now we're just on the defensive. We're just heavily researching. So everything else, we'll just leave them be. In charge of Earth, we do want to make sure we have someone there. Uh, Lieutenant Josh Tomlin is a ground sighter. Experienced on land. So let's have him be the base commander for Earth. Uh, we don't have anything on the moon. Yet. But soon. Soon. We can. Let's, uh, get that built. Pause the game. We go to our new basic shooty. Auto assign officers to it. Do I have the best ship ever? The Messiah? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's research some of that uh, fusion laser. And then we'll grab warp theory after that. We'll also take our squad out. Oh, uh, fighters or corvettes. Oh, let's just go ahead and scrap all the corvettes then. We don't need the corvettes. Oh, we don't have any construction projects. So I'm actually wasting. Sign another one. Another basic shooty. We need scrap ships. Uh, all those materials go directly into the uh, project and help boost it. And let's take a look at our budgets. Oop, there we go. Good ship could fight very well. Well, you're gonna have to give me all the plans and specs, and maybe I'll build it. <laughs> uh, open officer assignment, auto sign, close. Uh, it's got to build another one. Kind of. Alright, let's just put this into the new ships. Uh, rename this into Alpha Fleet. And Alpha Fleet, go to the moon! Oh, we can see that there's some uh, ships going from Pluto. No, to Pluto. Ships. Get, yeah. You're going to Pluto from Eris. Going directly to Pluto. Go and get our fleet on the moon. Yay! And that's it. That's all we can do about that. Pause the game. And let, let's bring Alpha back. And when they arrive, fine. And then we will put all we got into research once more. Yes, just to keep on that research train. Ooh, budget increase. Everyone's still satisfied. Excellent. And boop. Get our fusion light busiers researched up. And let's grab that warp theory. So, you know, we can have a working theory on how these warp drives work. The alien interplanetary drive operates by manipulating local space in order to open a tunnel locked between two major gravity wells, such as planets or moons. This special warp then drags the fleet to its destination as, at such speeds that the solar system could be crossed within a few days instead of months or years. This device needed is so large and massive that it needs a carrier vehicle like the cruiser we fought. But such a cruiser can then carry along a certain tonnage of smaller ships inside the created transit tunnel. One interesting limitation of the device is that, once embarked, a fleet cannot abort or alter its transit in any way. This applies to both the aliens as well as to any ships we may build. So once you start a trick, a track, it cannot be aborted. 
So we can intercept the enemy, but they can also intercept us. Uh, we do want a cruiser for that, but there's... Destroyer hull is going to take 17 days. Yeah, let's go ahead and research the destroyer hull. Oh, there's a small fleet four hours away from Earth. Okay. Uh, tell Earth to start making basic shooty, not that it has the budget to do anything. We have an officer up for promotion. Uh, Omelin. Yeah, 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 that, that's the uh, base commander there. Where is he from? Uh, the U.S. Oh yeah, the U.S. loves their people to be promoted. Let's go ahead and promote him. Defensive posture with a three frigates and a star base versus a single light cruiser. And our star base has 140 small fusion lasers. So that's just going to delete the enemy ship immediately. And we got some titanium out of that. Excellent. They delivered resources to us. How old is this game? Um, I want to say the last update it got was 2015 or 16. Uh, what? Are, can I get any other information about it? Uh, no, I can't. But it, it's a few years old. Oh, there it is. Release date 2013. So it's you know, over nine years, getting close to ten. And I actually got to uh, beta test this for Linux release, back when I mained Linux. So, yeah, that was fun. Oh, let's open the research screen up. Alright, I've got a destroyer hull. I need the Mark 1 warp away ray to get the cruiser hull. Hi, slushy puppy. 2013 is almost 10 years ago. Old. Yeah. I had that realization too. <laughs> Ooh, budget increase. Everyone's satisfied with our performance so far. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Alright. So let's get that warp array researched up. And let's grab the cruiser hull. It's going to take a month to research. But that should be fine. Who's up promotion now? Uh, Nigeria and Germany. Let's promote Germany, but leave the uh, leave Matthew gone. Who was on the order of first flight, but is also an alien hater. Let's leave him on the uh, promotion docket for now. Use him when we need him. Uh, we got some, another wave of alien ships, one to three of them, and a new budget increase. Excellent. And we are slowly getting recruits, but we, we, we do need more, but I prefer doing faster research. We don't really need too many people at the moment. Alright, so we have the cruiser hull, get the alien power done in a few weeks, so we can start getting some new power generation. Which we'll need for that cruiser. Uh, alien ships still coming in. Uh, the alien power plant is based on generating a controlled antimatter stream from a reaction involving the elements 114 and 115. These are not found on Earth, but might be more common in the outer solar system where our enemy seems to be based. Alright, let's also go back and make sure we have our... We... All of this... Stuff back here done. Uh, orbital hydroponics, so we can actually have bases off Earth. And the enemy are coming in. Defensive posture! And it's deloid. Just, just delete it. Ooh, got some titanium and elements 114 and some of 115. Nice. We actually got some of that. I also have some officers up for promotion. Uh, Pakistan, Australia, Syria, Australia, Germany, Bangladesh, China, uh, we'll promote China, Guy, France, you know, I'll actually give them all promotions now. Boop. 
We'll just take care of everyone on the promotion docket. Uh, let's grab the Computer Mark III. Uh, it might help us uh, research faster, maybe? Everyone's still satisfied, and we got that budget increase. Hoggers. And actually, the level of research we're putting in doesn't actually make much of a difference. Let's do a little bit of production with some of that money. As you know, uh... Uh... It, it, there's something called... There's... I can't remember what the term is. Dwindling... Oz? I don't know. When you put more in and the benefits don't increase as much. Uh, outpost construction. Let's grab that. Because that's going to be good. Hell yeah. Outpost defenses. We're also going to need that. And... We're going to put in Q. Hydroponic farm. And then we're going to put a base on the moon. And right now it's going to take a while, but we're going to uh, redistribute our money here soon. Orbital detection net, which will improve scrap recovery. Nice. We definitely need better scrap recovery. So we can get more of those elements that we don't have access to. Uh, shield countermeasures. Which is basically just missiles and mervs. More budget. And let's dump that budget into production. There we go. By researching alien light weaponry. So we have, you know, more weapons available to us. And the Space Academy. We have better researching. And constant ECM. More officers up for promotion. Yeah, just gonna promote them all. I can't remember what the benefit was of waiting. Maybe it was for when uh, the nations were less satisfied with me. I could promote them and then they would get more satisfied with me. Uh, adaptive optics. Research that up. And... Mass drivers. Yeah, overall satisfaction is 65%, so it's dropping some. Uh, good political influence and command representation. With the United States, anyways. Public approval's good. Budget discipline is good, because we're making sure we're actually utilizing it all. Research and development's at the max thousand, as well as personnel management, defensive performance. So we are doing good. Three, one, two, three. Throw that budget into production. Alright. Want heavy weapon variants. That's going to update what our uh, base defense has. Our star base. And point defense going. Uh, open up officer sign up for the ship. Auto assign, and we're good. Open research screen, fire control radar. Basic shooty into Alpha Squad here. Alright, fire control radar is done. Let's get counter missiles researched. It's less than a week. Hey, hydroponic farm is built. The outpost will take half a year. But it is what it is. Uh, budget increase once more. So again, put more into production. While we just continue clamoring up the tech tree super fast. We're just ripping through it. Because we have a lot of it to get through. Uh, go ahead and start getting the stable fusion plants. Because we need, we need to tear through this research. Uh, structural reinforcements. Got some more officers for promotion. 
let's go ahead and do that. Note all of those. Budget increase once more. Everyone's satisfied. Three, one, three. Put that into 69 production. <laughs> nice. All right. Go ahead and get the Mark II warp array researched up. Got some more promotions to divvy out. And we are slowly gaining titanium and uranium. Uh, get these boarding shuttles researched. Take us 11 whole days. Yeah, everything's starting to take a little bit longer and more research points. Uh, Captain Bryant? Yeah, we'll send it back and we'll get someone not as good. Uh, and that was on FF2. Let's pause the game, check F2. Okay, so they did take spot. Unassigned all and reassign them just to shake it up. And we'll do the same here actually. Uh, officers go through and re promote. Alright. Research. Let's grab the ion pulse cannon. And also, three, one, three, we have some more points to throw into production. Actually, I'm going to put a lot more into production here, so it takes only 10 more days to get that research done. I mean, not research, but the construction done. Two more days. Hell yeah. Built the outpost. Get the orbital detection network up. And at the moon, which operates on its own, it doesn't get the benefits of all of our resources from Earth. Uh, we're going to want a defensive battery ASAP. Moon base now fully operational. And now you know, we have a safe proving ground for any future base technology. And we use the moon as a second spot to deny the enemy access to the Earth. Just a little bit. Pause the game. Earth will do another basic shooty. And we will dial that back down. And put a point more into research. And there we go. Two officers up for promotion. We'll also move our Alpha Squad to the moon. Just so the moon has some defense. And some more promotions. And there we go. So that should help us a little bit. And let's grab alien holding facility. And soon we will be creating some new plants. All right. Uh, pause the game. Auto assign officers here. I uh, got a couple officers to promote. And tell the Earth to start making another outpost for Venus. Just to continue our spread amongst the inner planets here. Budget increase. Everyone's satisfied. Four and two. Put that into research. And another promotion. Alright. Heading straight to Earth. Cool. We delete them. The 140 small fusion lasers. Hoggers. Uh, let's get this particle beam research underway. Uh, open the build bandit screen for the moon, who now has defensive battery. Let's get the resource extractor, 
to increase the resources we gain and might give us better construction ability on the moon. I can hope. Because if we can get some better resources off world, that means we can do more construction and put more of our earth resources into research. Uh, let's get a uh, neutron blasters. Ooh, lunar vaults event. We need to talk. What is it, Richard? Now that we have a permanent base on the moon, the U.S. government has decided you need to know certain secret information. So they sent you to talk to me. All right, you've got my full attention now. The short of it is that back during the Apollo days, they discovered a very unusual mineral deposit of sorts on the moon. This was at the height of the Cold War, so of course they considered using it for military purposes. But things didn't go as planned, and in the end everything was husked up. Most of it remains classified, even to me. Alright, I'm just going to trust you on that. What can you tell me then? Where it is, how to get it, and that the material there might allow you researchers to build things even the aliens don't have. Ooh. Radiation still at normal levels? Looks like we won't have a problem. What is all this stuff anyways? Just looking at these weird rocks makes my head hurt. Why do you just not look at it, Connor? We're only here to make sure we're only here to make it safe and bring back a small sample. I'm happy with following his orders to the letter and then getting the hell out. No argument for me, sir. Let's get it done. Lunar vault opened. Ooh. Uh, we got a budget increase. Well, once again, and it's a higher budget increase as well. Uh, that should have. Yes. By using the secret information from one of our funding nations, we have located a small cache of a highly unusual material on the moon. The crystal like material seems like nothing found on Earth and has some slight non Euclidic properties to its internal geometry. It is proposed to develop a methodical study guidelines for this and any other non-terrestrial elements we might still encounter throughout the solar system. Now we can do the anomalous materials research, right after we're done with the neutron blasters. Ooh, we built a new outpost on Venus. Uh, let's get a defensive battery stat. And let's start on another outpost on Mercury. Let's just quickly spread amongst these inner planets. Anomalous materials research. Improved tesseractite and neutronium extraction by one. And improved scrap recovery by 10% for them both. Nice. Tesseractite. Has some non-Euclidic properties. And now we finish that research. So now I have access to more things. Get these impulse capacitors. Uh, ba -ba -ba. As I learn about additional types of resources, my colonies will automatically start mining them from worlds where they are found. Some might not immediately be useful, but I can go ahead and stockpile them. Nice. Yeah, neutronium and tesseractite, of which I'm not currently mining. Everyone's satisfied. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Two more days. Simples capacitors are done. Smart BPL warheads. Uh, defensive battery at done at Venus. Let's get a resupply base going. Ah. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we start building here. So yeah, let's go with the uh, resupply base. And... Moon has finished its resource extractor, so we should be able to start getting resources out of it. And let's get a settlement here on the moon, which will increase production by 42. 
which will let us build things faster on the moon. Uh, smart warheads done. Let's get the auxiliary thrusters. And let's promote some officers. Uh, Earth also needs to be making things again. Get a basic shoot. Oh, we stopped working on Mercury because it got out of sensor range. That's what it is. Mercury is no longer visible from Earth. Alright, everyone's still satisfied. Australia wants their leadership back. Yeah, let's swap them out for someone not nearly as good. Open our research screen, get some integrated heat exchangers going. Officer assignment, auto assign, that's good enough. Now to Earth, you'll build another one. We need more ships. Uh, let's see. Hmm. We can't do interplanetary travel, only if Earth and Moon is the only place we can travel. Until we actually build new ships. So let's get that soon. Basic shooty, assign new things, and work on that Mercury outpost. Ooh, two cruisers. Oh, we actually used 30 of our small fusion lasers. Didn't leave a dent. Oh, because this is our defensive battery on Venus. Yeah, Venus. One's done. And. Oof. Oh. We, we didn't win this fight. Battle of Venus. Lost. They took over Venus. Oh no. But now. We have. Our troops here. And we can't go to Mercury because we can't warp. Not yet. Let's uh, get a new ship design. Let's get our light cruiser. Let's get our first warpy boy. First warpy boy. So we've got to make sure they have power. Fusion B generator. Uh, let's see. Pasture banks won't help. Large fusion bottle. Can't really help. We're also already close to our mass maximum. Uh, yeah, if we have the capacitor bank, that actually helps a bit with our power. Boop, boop. Nope. Those don't help. That. Hmm. We have to reduce thrusters? No. If we had no thrusters, it wouldn't actually help at all. Put this back to our initial 400. And let's see. We need to have more power available. Oh, wait. Why does a separate one actually... Oh. Okay, because the capacitor. If we remove the capacitor bank, we just have two... That doesn't work, but if we had two separate ones and one of them had the capacitor bottle, what help? Okay, I see. Okay. Alright, so now we have enough fusion power to actually drive this damn thing. Which is our multi-layer plating. Which will make it require... Oh, nothing. Cool. Well, not any... Thing from here anyways. Despite... Oh, I know that was a ceramic. Never mind. Uh, reinforced structure. Upgrade to that. Now it's got the fusion thrusters. No shields yet. Uh, ion pulse cannon and a shuttle bay. 
No. Oh, the shuttle bay takes up too much space. Uh, actually, let's remove the fusion thrusters. Uh, we can't, like, fully get rid of them. So let's just set it to... Two hundo? Ah, right. <laughs> I'm hitting zero and that's turning on the baldy hat. Alright, well, the fusion thrusters got be set to 150. And that'll enable us to have our shuttles here. And crew quarters. I have to reduce this down to like 95. Uh, let's see, our radiators. Oh, we can uh, just do better radiators, the reinforced ones. Just space less heat, but that's fine. Uh, da -da, yeah, we don't need to put anything in there. The plates. Uh, we don't need protection sides and rear of the ship. This isn't going to be moving much. Uh, da -da -da. Shuttle bay, we've got the boarding crew shuttles. Can't have any higher or better. So, the shuttles enable us to have boarding crew. Which could potentially let us take over an enemy ship. It also has the warp array, which takes up half its ma- A majority of its mass anyways. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Constant ECM. Yeah, we, we can't afford to have constant ECM. That's 500 extra tonnage, and I don't want to reduce its sh reduce its armor, because, uh, well, it needs armor, because it's a sitting fucking duck. So, oh, that's going to be its next project, after it's done making an outpost for Mercury. Because we're going to make sure we have a warp-capable fleet. Everyone's still satisfied with us, and I didn't look at the specifics. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Make sure everything's properly devoted into research. Get proton beams. I just got some more ships coming in. Three to nine of them. Uh, extended coolant tanks. And... Uh, ooh, the going to the moon. Not the moon. Let's make sure we have our ships. Oh, the ships are going to arrive there too late. Ah, damn. Defensive posture. Alright. All of its armor's gone. Oh, it only had one point of armor. Okay, that makes sense then. Let's take the light, take the cruiser out. And see what we can't fuck up with the rest. And we defended the moon. And we got some materials. Oh, right. Remote. I don't want to assign any crew to like defend the moon at the moment because uh, I don't want to lose them. So let's. Earth's been extraction of the outpost on Mercury. Get that defensive battery set up. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much else we can actually do with that. The moon's still working on its settlement. Alright, let's see. The United States is only 58% satisfied with us. Uh, we have some points for offensive performance since we have like, offensively taken over some planets. Uh, everything else is doing okay. Personnel management does not think I'm doing a good job of that anymore. It's not its highest requirement, though. Band representation's higher. Alright. Pause the game real quick. So we can handle our budget appropriately. There we go. And put our next research in uh, 
high temperature superconductors. That's going to take 24 whole last days. That's a month for those that we've been trying to find for so long. Oh, we got a new fleet heading into the moon. Defensive posture. Uh, I'm actually most likely to hit that. Let's go ahead and do that. And then hit that with the rest. And then... Let's fly our ships into the sides here. And do what we can. How did that ship come so much further? I guess it's because I had better officers in it? Because these should all be the same ships. Uh, better crew. Uh, ah, this ace level captain. Yeah. Navigation. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Versus... Yeah, effective quality is less. Or, yeah, that that's the difference. Okay. There really is a difference. And let's... Get this one in. And zappy-doo. We'll get this one in real close. And zap zap. And hope they can't retaliate too badly. Oh, nope, that, that's a ship deleted. Oh, and now they're properly focusing the star base. Excellent, that's what I want. I want the star base to be, f the uh, defensive battery to be, be the one majorly targeted. Because, well, that means I save all of my ships. Uh, defensively, just shoot to whoop back here, flip around, shoot. Uh, we'll get back behind them, turn the ship. Hit him in the rear. And this one will just do that. Yeah. Everyone has fired all their weapons. And turn. Oh, just lost another ship. At least they only take out one ship a turn, it seems. Just again. Good. Try again, take that ship out. Let all of these pea shooters try to take these ships out at the back. Get as close as I can. Shoot. Go over here. Face in. Catch him in the rear. And repeat the story. Oh, I've already. Fired its lasers, apparently. Alright. And turn. And it's going to fire on the defensive battery. And everyone else can come right on in and shoot it right up the butt. Just get right up in there. Yay! We did lose two frigates, and we only rescued one of the officers off the ship. Rip to the rest. Promote the ones we have left. Alright, that was our defensive maneuver. And we have some enemy vessels coming into Mercury. And we didn't have a defensive battery, so... There wasn't anything we could do about that. We'll build a new 
face over on Tekken Venus. Uh, boop, 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 and boop. There we go. Alright. So let's let's go for the antimatter power plant because we won't be able to do anything with that actually. So instead, focused fusion lasers. Let's see if we can't upgrade those fusion lasers on our defensive batteries. Budget increase only by 1% because we're not doing super hot. Defensive performance is kind of sucking. Because we had people die on us. And that's not what they want happening. Oh, I'm also not leading fleet. Alright. So me in charge of the fleet and that'll actually help. Get that artificial gravity to reduce crew morale loss. And it leads to the Electro Levitator. Uh, let's open up officer assignment. Auto assign. We got our first warpy boy. Alright. Two officers ready for promotion. Get them promoted. And let's bring Alpha back here to Earth. Get the first Warpy Boy into it. I should have just sent the ship to the moon. But alright. Budget increase. And Rear Admiral Mueller. Yeah, you can have him back. We got back someone really good at engineering. Nice. Now well, let's reassign all our officers. Let's take them away from all of our ships. Do a little shuffle. Because I want the best on the first Warpy Boy. And then let them cascade from there. Take care of, well, the rest of the rest. Boop. There we go. Uh, then the Earth will construct another of the first Warpy Boys. And the Moon is just about finished with its settlement. So there's a settlement that needs saving. I'll mark it on your map for you. And we can get that star base. Yeah, that star base. It's gonna take two months, but that's gonna mean the moon is safe. All right, finish the artificial gravity. Get the microwave beam researched. That's gonna take over a month. Officers, get them promoted. And yeah. Oh, we got some ships coming in at the moon. Defensive posture. So now we have some of medium fusion lasers. Those are going to be helpful. We also have some shuttle bays. Uh, these aren't going to move much, so I'm just going to go ahead and fire them. But otherwise, we want to move on in. From the sides and the rear. We're in shoop. Shoop. Fire. Uh, move here. And then fire there. What's your range? You can move in on the sides. Everything's such a fire arc though. That's a damn shame. Let's do that movement. And turn. Oh no. Oh no. Focusing the fire on this. No. Oh. Let's get them. Actually, let's point the ship like that. There we go. Excellent. Do that. You can come around. Fire. And... 
That's moving over here and fire like point fucking blank. Unfortunately, the ship is no longer targeting anything. Oh, okay. Well, we just delete those and didn't lose anyone. Yay! We also didn't capture a ship. We we need to capture at least one ship. Because that's going to give us some bonuses. Alright, the ammo store is not full. And that one's going to be repaired. That train some of our faction money. We prop 6. Keep that at 200. And there we go. So that's going to fill up and it's going to get repaired. We can also send the fleet back to Earth. And therefore, it's going to actually get repaired. There we go. That's a little better. Oop. Set those back up to 200. Rest into there. And the fleet's going to be repaired quick enough. Uh, building another port before they would. No, they're 12 days for the moon space. Oh, right. Second warpy boy for our beta fleet. And we'll build another Mercury outpost. Maybe we'll get it done before it goes into the sun shadow. But these new ships, well, that's going to be beta. Like the fish. Not like the Greek letter. Ooh. Knocked my water a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's look into... Ceramic compound armor. Budget increase. Everyone's satisfied. that into research. Moon's finished its starbase. Hell yeah. Refinery complex. Now let's get the uh, resupply base, then listening post. Then the refinery complex and shipyard. We'll queue all that up. Whee. Whee. All that into research. Through the assignments, we'll just fill it up with a bunch of poor. Just lowering our quality effect. But we're not understaffed anymore. So that's good. Three officers for promotion. Alright. Moon's finished its construction. And the Earth has another 16 days. Let's quickly throw everything into building that. Nope. Couldn't do it. Uh. Hmm. Well, basic shooty. Let, let's get some more. Yeah, and fill out the beta fleet anyways. Officers for promotion. And we'll also resplit our priorities. Basic shooty! Done! Another one. Actually, we want to make sure we have a, at least a small fleet of them. Everyone satisfied? Ooh! Representative of my funding mission, missions for a mission to Jupiter. Need to establish a base at Jupiter or any of its moons. They're giving me six months to achieve that goal. If not done, they'll have to start factoring into the monthly valuations. Fun times. As far as they didn't ask me to go to Mars first. Uh, ba -ba -ba. 
Mustard ion thrusters. And let's reorganize our priorities here. Because again, our focus is on research. So that's what we will need to do. Alright, open officer assignment, auto assign officers. And we've got to make sure everything's added to beta fleet. Assign officers. This pop up. And research screen, adapt to VCM. You've been meeting. Yeah, you can have your commander back. Alright, let's send Alpha Fleet over to Mercury. As well as queue up the Mercury base. And do our promotion task list. Alright, we have our fleet on Mercury. We now have visible sight lines. All right. Uh, that's going to be 36 days. Yeah, we have to land that before it goes back into the sun shadow. Uh, moon, get your long range scanner ray up. And the moon will be operational. Uh, get our defocused beam. And... Oh, some discussion on personal involvement on the front lines. It's a high risk in personally commanding the fleets of Earth. They're concerned about my safety. I want to amend the charter to permanently prohibit my assignment as an immediate commander of any single fleet. Uh, ba 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 Willing to grant a special budget increase of 5%. Well, I suppose that is only prudent. But it's only 5%. I get that in 5 months. So my place is with the fleet. Uh, my relationship with all nations is severely strained by this. Ugh. I don't like that. But my place is with the fleet. With all of my crew. So, they're gonna have to suck it. Uh, let's see, new ship goes in there. Alright, let's get the gas giant fuel extraction, which will also improve scrap recovery by 10% everywhere. Which will be helpful. Uh, Earth. We also will build a thing outpost at Jupiter, just to get that mission done. Earth is finished outpost. Next queued unit is the outpost of Jupiter. And Mercury, get you a defensive battery. Stat. Then we'll work on a settlement so we can get the uh, star base. On the moon. Uh, you start. Construction on a basic shooty. And we'll call that a day. Alright. Ooh, overall satisfaction is less than 50%. But they're all satisfied with my performance, but there is no increase. So we're gonna have to reallocate things appropriately. And try to do some more things. Ah, I can promote Commander Tomlin. And that'll be better. Alright, we have our fuel extraction. Let's start research on the antimatter plant, even though we can't do anything with it yet. And what's our fleet past? Oh, we are good. Uh, I don't see anything on Mars, so let's let's send a fleet to Mars. See what that looks like. Just a star base. Let's quick save and engage. Uh, move a little bit closer. Oh, we we can't send the shuttles at it. 
Okay. Well, we'll try to go behind it. Uh, let's go here, close the distance. That'll have to just go straight in there, straight at it, and straight at it. And that's almost half. I'm just gonna hit autos off from here. And the starbase destroys all my ships. Which is why I didn't want to do this. And I died. I've been killed in the battle with hostile forces. Game over. That's why I quick saved. Get back into warp. And head back to Earth. And Alpha Fleet will now pop over to Venus. And almost to Mercury. Let's go. Heading over to Mercury. There we go. Want to make sure we have some defense over there on Mercury. Budget increased by 0.5%. The satisfaction has increased a little bit. Uh, well, you know, now that I have, have ample time to research enemy ships and can uh, travel between planets, now I need to show progress and travel to Mars. After they already requested me to travel to Jupiter. <laughs> And another six months to do that goal. Ay yeah yeah yay. Well, I need better ships to actually fight that. Uh, it's gonna be two hours for them to get to Mercury. Defensive posture. We at least have the defensive battery. And highest chance to hit the one in front. All right. Um, launch your fleet that way. We will boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. boop. Shabby pow. Boop, and outside of firing arc. I didn't place that correctly. And you're going to zoom on over here and shoot that. And turn. And the cruisers focus the defensive battery. Everything focuses the defensive battery. Oh, the shuttle. Oh, it's only got one point of health left. All their ships had like some sort of auto shot on it. All right, well, let's zoom on over to here, get close to there, shoot. Go up behind this ship and deliver some damage, point heckin' blank. Here, up, shoot. And I go right beside this one and shoot it from the side. Get a little closer, fire another boarding shuttle, and now it's empty. And attempt to take out a single ship and fail completely, and that might spell the end of this. Because I don't think my defensive battery is going to survive the onslaught. Nope, there it goes. And that is... all of my ships are going to be dead now. Step behind here, shoot that ship. Move around to the back. Close. And get close. And again, we will get close. And yep, yeah, that, that's the end. Uh, boarding shuttles are all gone. They at least provided a distraction. And... 
get the fire in. Doop, doop, cha. Doopy, doopy, da. And I'll just set otters off from there and watch as it wrecks my fleet. And. Nope. Ooh. Well, we got rid of their cruisers at least so they don't have uh, fight abilities anymore. Uh, I can retreat. Yeah, I can retreat and then uh, watch the auto resolve again. And it's just going to be a couple turns. And then they'll uh, escape. Oh, nope. Died. Alright, well let's try that again then. Defensive posture. Let's try that again. Uh, let's... Get rid of that cruiser. And what's the highest percent chance? It's gonna be that one. Alright, I'll save my shuttles for later. And actually, I'll just go ahead and uh... No, I'm not gonna go ahead and end my turn. I will move my ships heck of a lot closer. They're all gonna focus the defensive battery. Or they should, at least. So, I'll just have them all focus fire on a smaller target. Oops. And hope that we can at least pick them off a little bit. And turn. Oh! Focusing fire on that ship instead. Well, that saves my defensive battery a little bit. Oh, that's that's two ships gone. All right, highest percent chance. Finish deleting that ship, and then my remaining shots. Highest chance of hitting that one. All right. Now let's flop over there and hit that sh ship up. We'll plop over there, fire all our guns at that one. Uh, take a wide berth and fire guns that way. And our crews are moving a little bit. And actually, I'll go ahead and shoot one off. It'll take like four turns to reach it, though. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, they actually have managed to avoid all those shots. Oh, cool. So we'll go up behind the ship. Go up beside it. And this one will also go behind this one and attempt to shoot, but fail. And then, let's see... That one's biggest chance to hit. That goes bluey. And fire shots of that one. Alright. Nope. That's the end of the defensive battery. Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's just continue focus fire. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a low chance of hitting that ship. So we'll just let it go. We're gonna focus fire on the boarding shuttles and they're gone now. 
and that's that's going to be the end of this fight. This is why I don't actually don't complete the game, because it just kinda does this. Like, ah, I'm gonna I'm not supposed to do it then. They defeat the defensive battery like so easily, despite my research. That's supposed to give it overpowered weaponry. They can just waltz in and just delete it. I, I can hit retreat and see if I can actually manage to retreat. Probably not. Nope. But again. Load back up to the battle. Let's actually drop a quick save. Defensive posture. What'll we do the first chance? Destroy that one. Pour everything else into that one. And then we shall divert our forces far to the side and target that ship and move as far forward as we can. Move the cruiser closer. Uh, divert that to the side. Then that way. And fire at the one in front. This ship's gonna go way up. And then attempt to just shoot that one out. Uh, that's also going to move up. Turn and target that one. And this one's going to head southward and attempt to hit some stuff. And then I'll fire a shuttle that way. And we'll see how this shakes down. You would think tactics would actually be helping me win the fight. But, uh, not particularly. The that's at a 90% for one of them. And that didn't manage to actually kill it at all. Fire that. Shot. Now I managed to take it out. Hit chance 5%. Not what I like to see. Let's fire that one instead. Uh, this one. Move it back there and fire. Uh, let's keep out of its range. And then we can, you know, move a little closer in. And attempt to hit it and fail. Outside firing arc. Yeah, I can't target it at all. Try to hit that one. And that there. Any more shots available? No. Alright. End turn and see what happens. Don't destroy my defensive battery. Ugh. They have more light cruisers available. Each time I repeat this, it gets worse. I don't understand. Alright, nail that from the back. Blow it this way, and that doesn't work out. We'll mew ourselves this way, turn around and nail them from the rear. New over here, and can't do anything. This is all out of both its ships, and that one's going to be destroyed next turn. And we have two ships that can't do a damn thing. And the turn, and watch my ships just get deleted. And let's 
try this again. Smack that in the rear. Maneuver our way that way. And at least try to shoot that. And that's all we can really do. I did focus fire on the boarding shuttle, which is somehow still operational. Hell yeah. Hey, took out its shield at least. Yeah, I should equip them with more ballistics, not just a laser. And boarding shuttles finally gets destroyed. And so do the remainder of my ships. Go ahead and mark you for a retreat. Not that it's going to matter. Got a light cruiser. Noom. Fire. And then run away. And end turn. Uh, going to... Noom. And fire. And now that's dead. Now I just hit auto resolve and wait for retreat to actually happen. At least we disable that one's movement abilities. Um. Great. Okay. So it needed to escape first. Oh, I was still killed in action, though. So, uh... Once more! Uh, not really anything else I can do here. Chemical laser. Hitting the front one would be the most difficult for it. Hitting that one would be easy enough. Relatively speaking. Uh, try to move the cruiser into position a little bit. Go outside of that firing arc. Try to shoot the small ship. And highest chance of hitting that one for relatively little damage. Alright, these will just kind of Noom on over. And highest percent chance to hit oh, that one. This one will also just Noom on over and stop at the first one. And these will actually move a little bit more, as they can. And that one turned and fired upon that one. Alright. Oh no! Fastest moving one is dead. Well, sneak in behind this one. Immediately fire at its rear. And we'll try to do similar. Uh, we'll pull up alongside that one. And then just kind of broadside it. A chance. Let's see, where's the highest one now? That one. Uh, I should really use these slightly better than just unloading all at once and just place them all against their highest chance targets. I'm gonna go ahead and pre prepare this one's warp array. The rest can't retreat. All right. And turn like that. Let's see what actually happens. And they all really 
focus fire on the defensive battery before it can actually do its goddamn job. Fantastic. Uh, let's go up here and try to rid ourselves of that ship. And then let's get in real close to zap that one off. No, oh, it, it, it didn't even get to launch any shuttles. It... Did it take... Oh, uh, it took just enough damage, I guess. And they managed to hit the right spot? No, I don't... Why do I have any shuttles? I didn't launch any yet. Is it because it started warming up the warp array? That might have been it. Bring that online. It can't. All shuttles are offline when Warp Array is warming up. It'll be ready in a turn. Okay, I see how that works. Alright. Blend the turn then. Oh no. Let's, uh, again, fire into its rear, and move as close to that one as you can, pile driver like that. We'll see if we could take an enemy ship anyways. They gotta focus on my cruiser. Ooh, 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 that was, that was some calculations it was kind of failing at. Move in closer. Our one shuttle that way and hope it survives the round. It did survive the round, took no damage. Excellent. Uh, this ship's not as lucky though. Does this have... What is online here? Its thrusters are destroyed, so it can't move. And I don't have enough scan strength left to scan the other ship there. Uh, we have enough strength for like scanning anything else? We do. Uh, that one, yes, all of its thrusters are still online. Let's move over here, see if we can't take out its thrusters, perhaps. In turn... Oh. Boarding shuttle is now actually being shot at. Oh, it's gonna- it's gonna land! Let's hope it actually succeeds. And unsuccessful. We sent 20 and they didn't do jack shit against it. So yeah, softening the target up first would be better. And uh, let's take that offline and warm up that retreat. And then we'll just auto resolve from there. Oh, boarding shuttle destroyed immediately. And that's the only one that can't move. All those missiles. You're gonna do a number. And dead. And we can't even escape into warp because it's defense. So we are kind of stuck fighting now. Alright, I'm gonna not arm those at the moment. I'm gonna target whatever is highest percent. Alright, chemical laser. It's also the highest percent. And the auto cannon. Yeah, the, the auto cannon. It just has a number of shots, but it's 30. It's not gonna last 30 freaking turns. So, kapow. 
conventional arms do nothing at the moment. As them dang shields. Let's uh get right up in its face and do some shooting. I mean right up in its face and do some shooting. Try to really crank down on the, that one. And this has a shuttle bed it would just move forward with. I forgot how worthless the shuttles are. I don't remember how I managed to successfully board enemy ship before. Probably soften it up a lot with weapons first. And I'm gonna lose this fight again and then I'm just gonna quit this game. <laughs> and we'll figure out something else to do instead. Eighty-six percent chance to hit. Unload everything else on that ship. And then we'll also scan it. Its thrusters are still online. Let's uh zoom back behind this ship and fire at its rear. Uh, we'll go flank that ship. Zoom back here. Fire at it. Inch closer. And you know what? Yes, take out the frigates. Stop shooting my main base. That does all of the damage. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so all the chances are going to be increasing by like the same amount. Pound that first one out. And then... We have the highest chance to hit that one next. Let's do just that. And then let's get our other ships back behind the cruisers and try to take out their uh, propulsion systems. So this bottom ship's already... Let's go ahead and scan everything that we can so we can come back to it. Uh, thrusters are still in line for that one. I thought its scan was complete already. I don't want to scan the missile, I want to just scan the actual ship. Uh, it, all of its thrusters are still in line, because we haven't got through the shield, so... We'll show one of these missile launchers. And four of the thrusters? So, it's got some progress there. Uh, inch closer. One turn. And hope the defensive battery can actually stay alive this time. Let's, uh, approach even closer. Really get right up in there. Uh, this alien ship. Almost all of its thrusters are gone. Yeah, when they have less thrusters, they can do less defensive maneuvers. And so they are more and more likely to actually get hit. Uh, let's see. This is the highest chance. Knock that out. And do some serious damage on that one. End our turn. And we might... Hmm, no, that, that was a pretty big hit. Let's scan this cruiser. Half its thrusters are taken out of commission. And the ship in the front... How's it looking? Its crew's still pretty full. It's out of missiles. And it's only using the small phase ray. Everything else is off. Okay. Well, let's jam these ships into the rear of the cruiser. And let's fire at it. 
Alright, we have a higher chance of hitting the one in the back, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's get some new mies. Head right on in here. And let's go ahead and shoot a shuttle just as maybe a distraction. Oh, they got rid of the pencil battery. But that's relatively fine. Ooh. How's the ship faring now? We just halved its crew. Uh, destroyed one of its phase rays. It still has two more. I think this is the more dangerous one of the two. No, the other one still has phase rays as well. But alright. Let's get this ship up in here. Hit it in the rear. Pound of that one out. And let's have another little scan here and see. Did we do anything else to it? No, but it's warming up its B reactor. Hmm. We'll end the turn now. Unsuccessful boarding attempt. Not too surprising. Now let's have a look, see here. Let's fire at it from, you know, point blank in the front. Have a scan. That didn't really do much to it at all. Okay. Well then, reorient to the back and take a shot at it. Alright, that destroyed a lot more crew. Uh, it's powering on one of its phase ray mediums, because now it has more excess power for it. Still operating next to its power use budget. Warming up its shield again. But its shield's almost destroyed. It's also building heat. Got three rounds to let over heats. Oh! It wrecked my ship. That's relatively fine. Crew continues to drop. Only five rounds to overheat. Two medium phase rays are destroyed, and its thrusters are fully destroyed. It can no longer turn. Which means I have free reign. It can't do anything anymore. We basically have it hostage. We destroyed its shield again. And the we destroyed one of its phase rays. So we actually have this one one. I shouldn't have done that. Now let's see here. Dropped the crew to 126. And it only has one phase ray medium left. But I'm pretty sure if I shot it again, it would just kind of die. We boarded it. We sent 20 attackers and they killed all remaining 126 crew. We only lost four. We took an enemy ship. We actually won. And I didn't die in the fight. Hell yeah. Alpha Squad, though, you, you need to uh, return to Earth. Capture an alien ship intact. And we have some alien prisoners. Hell yeah. Uh, Beta Fleet, we're, we're gonna need to um, perhaps get you upgraded. Let's edit basic shooty here. Uh, you still have these fusion plasma blasters. The point blank damage, 45. Oh yeah, that, that's a lot more. Mass, 100 tons. Versus 8 tons each. Oh, well, that doesn't really matter. 
move one of these and put in a neutron blaster. We lack a little bit of power, but if we put a capacitor bank, no. Large fusion bottle, no. I could no. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, it doesn't really matter how many fusion blasters I would reduce. It would not be enough. Alright, so instead of the neutron blaster... Uh, oh, it has a chance of being stopped by shields, whereas the phase ray does not. Okay. That instead of the blaster, then. Oh, it needs an anti-matter power source. Of which we can't really do. Uh, mass driver's 100% chance being stopped by shields. Counter missile battery. Uh, he's very small. Yeah, the fusion plasma bas blasters. Uh, how does that compare to the small fusion laser? Oh, I should definitely swap them to that instead. Five. Laser. Hello. Hmm. Race accuracy 15%. Oh, the fusion laser cannot be stopped by shields. Excellent. Faster bank? No. Large fusion bottle though. Yes. And that'll just call for reducing our overall tonnage. Which is fine. Little little fewer fusion thrusters, that's fine. Oh, the multi-layer plating. Reduce overall armor, make it 360 degree. No. We remove the shield exhaust ports, it'll take eight and a half rounds. With shift overheat. But also reduces, you know, structural integrity. Go with integrated heat exchangers. That's going to do the minimum of structural loss and heat rate. The damage control stations. That reduces structure down a little bit. But it's cheap for repairs. Eh, not too worried. Thermal radiator panels. Oh, if we got rid of those, then we need to... Oh, no, we can't get rid of them. Radiator. Reinforced radiator panels. Uh, still don't have any access to shields, unfortunately. Uh, fusion thrusters. You can upgrade them to ion thrusters. Which we lack a little bit of power for. Um, oh no, it will overheat in over 500 rounds. The horror. Uh, what's the uh, difference though in speed? Oh yeah, that that's a that's a decent speed difference. All right, so that maximizes the ion thrusters. And let's see, anything else we can do here? Armor, we can upgrade it from multi-layer to ceramic. Which will give it, you know, a lot more armor and higher equivalent resistance. Uh, radiators, no. E-war. Uh, we can swap its pulsed. E no, that increases tonnage too much. Constant still increases tonnage. Uh yeah, I'll put it back to pulsed. Yeah, I don't care about scanning so much. Hmm. Yeah, that'll heat eventually, but that's fine. We have no megawatts to spare. 
spare at the moment. And we've reduced it to one single shot. Which cannot be stopped by shields and excellent accuracy at range and medium fall off at range. Let's uh, let's just have our uh, Shermans, you know, because because these are definitely tanks. They have more structure and more armor. All right, Earth. After you're done making outposts to Jupiter, let's get a couple Shermans going. Now, what's our faction budget looking like? Oh, we're fine. Actually, we could put some more points into research. All right, Alpha's arrived on Earth, and we have an enemy ship that needs officers that has stuff that we can repair and maybe bring back online. Let's uh, open the build manager screen for Jupiter. Try to build a defensive battery ASAP. And it can only be protected by that, since we can't have a settlement, we can't make a starbase. For some fucking reason. You would think a starbase you can build on a gas planet to really defend the entire local system of, you know, the moons and the planet itself. You know, you, you would think, you'd imagine. But just keep imagining. So, well imagine... Wish to Jupiter complete. We don't need to continue holding it. That's literally all it needed. Uh, let's make sure we have points in our recruitment. We don't want the recruitment to decrease at all. And research the antimatter plant. Now let's learn about the alien language from our uh, captured aliens. Uh, da -da -da. Now, the antimatter is extremely efficient, but it will consume from our limited element 115 stockpile. We'll advise to restrict it to a very small number of ships and continue using fusion power. Oh, they're heading to Venus. Crew assignment. Woo! Make sure it's fully crewed. Hostile fleet to Jupiter. So they left Venus and went to Jupiter. Our BFF basic shooty. Constructed on the moon! Uh, yeah, let's, let's get some more Shermans. The moon will make a Sherman. Defensive posture at Jupiter. Let's, let's quick save here. Defensive po- Aw, oh, we lost. No big surprise. And we'll send that ship back to Earth. Join in with Alpha, apparent. No, no, still. Uh, we got some ships heading to Mercury. That, That's not good. It's one to three. So at least it's only a you. It's in the main fleet over there. Well, not the main fleet. Our secondary fleet, Beta. It's not going to get there in time. And quick save. Defensive posture. Quick save. Engage the enemy force. And let's try to get to it. Whee. Hopefully it just targets my cruiser. No, it did not. It targeted the ship immediately in front of it. Uh, I did not give it enough movement points remaining to properly face it. Uh, turn to the side.
Probably a little closer. Alright, it, it turned and finished that ship off. Everyone else, quick, get behind it! Wahoo! Oh no, it, it managed to turn. Well, we'll just keep shooting. Oh, 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 did, did we disable it again? We do not have enough power to scan that. How much power does it cost to scan it? Oh, that's a lot. Okay, well. We've discussed... Oh, we blew it up. Cool. Uh, we've rescued... The aliens either rescued or we rescued two of them. Admiral Scenix. Oh, no, that that one's a special character. That one's our special character. Alright. So, arrived at Mercury and did the thing successfully. Now they need to come back. My right, Earth's finished construction. What we'll cancel making the Shermans? Need to make a new outpost for Mercury. Alright. Beta gets a Sherman. Beta gets the first Sherman. Actually, no, let's give Alpha that first Sherman. And we have so much money to put into repairs. So much repair money. Uh, they're slightly more satisfied because of our performances. Defensive performance apparently sucks, though. But everyone's satisfied enough. We need to again establish a base at Jupiter. Very well. That is fine by me. I can continue to do just that. As we pour money into repairing a... Uh, a place. Alien language. Uh, while progress in it is slow, our linguists have established a limited intermediary language that allows us basic communications with the aliens we have captured. As far as we can tell so far, they are not actively resistant to providing us with simple information, but the information seems to depend on the individual in question. The best results are achieved when a single isolated alien is questioned by a visible group of researchers. Further research is required to sort through the pieces of info provided by the aliens and make the intermediate language into a more useful tool. Uh, well, look at that extended laser pulse. Actually, no. Let's research the X-ray lasers. That's going to upgrade our star bases. And we know that those need upgrading. Navigation on basic shooty. Signature level talent. 50 across the board is currently the navigations officer. Okay. Uh, the moon, we actually have the moon well unprotected. Let's make sure it has a base commander. Uh, commander Sammy Barnes. Let's get you in there. Increase the things there. Wow, sucks at leadership though. Alright. You can meet this pause real quick. Other people have higher leadership. What do you mean you're organized by skill? Uh, rank, name, promotion, what? No, give me someone who's actually high in skill. Lieutenant Commander Vernon McCoy, you, you have higher leadership, 70 leadership there. Yeah, this isn't by skill level. Maybe experience level or total skill points. But not the relevant skill. 70. Base commander, lieutenant commander, Horacio Carpenter. That's who needs to be there. From Brazil. 
70. Base command efficiency is 21%. Rank times 0.3. Navigation sucks. Tactical 12. Engineering 28. Not too great, but as lieutenant on ground cider. But that 70 leadership should be helping everything else be better. Alright. And Abraham Simmons, you get to be up to wee bit. And Earth's finished that outpost. Get another one for Venus. Back online. Get that defensive battery and settlement started again. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to leave any ships over at Mercury. Uh, we, we have ships coming in for Mercury again. Open the research screen. Let's... Needs gravitic shielding. Let's get that. Uh, the main mode of the alien shielding system is based on gravity pulses to deflect or shatter projectiles. Uh, it also maintains a slight distortion of spatial geometry, weakening beam weapons. They're optimized for pulse mode by default. They can also be built with focus on the refractive. But they can't switch modes on the fly. And the gravitic interference stops us from simply building both. Interessant. Let's start researching that shielding so we can start building shields. Alright, we lost Mercury. But, meh. We don't need Mercury anyways. Uh, but it might be a little dangerous. Let's get that fleet over he here. Hmm. Yeah, let's get our uh, basic shooties over here. That restocks Alpha. And now we can go engage that light cruiser. Engage it properly. 95% chance, and has a lot of damage. Hey, And continue going forward. You there! You get to go noom! Noom. Pew! Yeah, very, very low chance of actually hitting. Let's just move you south, turn you like that, and continue movement. I want to at least try to keep them out of the firing range. Or at least, you know, firing cone. Let up my forces a little bit. Alright. You, since you have the highest movement, get to get right up behind it. Really lay it into them. Oh. There's more to the battle map, not that it actually seems to matter too much. Uh, let's move you further away, take a shot, and try to keep moving. Uh, let's get you moved here, try to hit, then flee. over here, shoot, move, and you can just go directly out the ship, and boop, you approach, and I think that is everyone, indeed, all right, lay into its rear once more, and everyone else gets to close the gap. Hey! 
do we have the strength to scan it? We do have the strength to scan it. All of its thrusters are gone, so we don't actually have to worry about dodging anymore. We just have to move behind it. Move out of its firing arc. Hey! How's it, how's it looking? How's it looking? Uh, almost destroyed all of its uh, phase rays. And we're really chopping the uh, crew here. Nice. Yeah, this one's going to get point blank and just fucking tear into it. There we go. We lost no one. Only gained. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. But, that's also where we're going to leave off and probably where I'll just never return to this again. It's fun for a bit, and I certainly enjoy like going through the tech tree. But, ugh. Battles. Majority of the game turns into not fun real quick. Uh, like gameplay settings here. Control transits when nothing is selected. Oh, neat. Yeah, I'll just have that so I can see everything. Uh, but just gonna save the game. Call it Shrim. And we will quit the game. It also took fucking forever for the game to actually like start up. It, it really hooked up my system. But uh, that is a, about half of the uh, video for the uh, StarCraft OST that I was playing in the background the whole time. But that is also in today's stream so thank you all that showed up for coming on by and hanging out a as always i really truly do appreciate it a lot because that, that's what makes me want to keep playing keep you know streaming just you know stay alive on this platform Having people come by, spend some time with me. Even if you don't say anything. Because lurkers are appreciated. And you're appreciated. Thank you so much for stopping on by. And I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Where we continue with some Salai Cooper. Uh, beyond that, I just hope to see you all again at another time. But... Until then, let's head on over to my friend who hasn't streamed in a while. I think she streamed again yesterday, but uh, I unfortunately missed it because I was busy. But uh, let's go say hey to my good friend who's actually not playing Dead by Daylight, so I really super want to support her right now. Good old friend Insomniac playing Cult of the Lamb, that new game that everyone's playing. That looks a lot like heckin, um, Don't Starve. Probably made by the same people because it's the same art style. So let's go head on over there. So again, thank you all for stopping by, and I hope to see you again soon. But until then, goodbye!